Hey guys, this is Krithika. Welcome back to my channel. I'm in this place called Chokham in Arunachal Pradesh. We got here last night. Uh, I didn't really vlog yesterday because uh, we were driving for about 12 hours. It was really hectic and we didn't really do much. So we drove from Kaziranga to Chokham and on the way we saw a few places. First we stopped at these tea gardens which were really beautiful. Uh, Sam is actually famous for its tea so we obviously had to check out a tea garden. Next we went over the Bhupen Hazarika bridge which was built recently. It's Asia's longest bridge that's built on a river. It's about 9 kilometers long and we went there during sunset so that was really beautiful as well. And then we just drove from there to Chokham. Chokham is actually a famous Buddhist spot. Uh, it's famous for the Hinayana sect of Buddhism. The other places we visited like Dirang and Bomdila are famous for the Mahayana sect of uh, Buddhism. I'm not sure of the exact difference between the two. I'm told that the Hinayana sect doesn't believe in idol worship but there is an idol of Buddha here so I'm not sure what the difference exactly is but I think Hinayana is an older and more simpler form of Buddhism so there's this famous golden pagoda here which we saw last night from outside but we couldn't check it out because it was closed it looked really beautiful and lit up so uh, we're gonna go check that out today today is actually the last day of our trip the plan for today is to go see this place called Parshuram Kund I'll tell you more about that later but first I'm gonna go have some breakfast so this is where we stayed last night this place is called golden pagoda and this is our cute cottage. What the hell is my mom doing? Camera and mobiles are not allowed. So this is the pagoda. I'm not allowed to take my camera inside, but apparently this is the largest pagoda in Northeast India. Just visited the pagoda and it was really peaceful and unique. I don't think I've seen anything like this in India before. This kind of reminded me of the Buddhist temples I visited in Bangkok. Anyway, we're off to Parshuram Kund now. So we thought we've reached Parshuram Kund but turns out you have to walk half an hour to actually reach the Kund. We're halfway there, we have to go all the way down there. So we are now at Parshuram Kund. Let me tell you the story of this place. So it's said that the Hindu sage Parshuram, who's one of the ten uh, avatars of Lord Vishnu, on his father's command killed his mother with an axe and the axe stuck to his hand until he came to this place and washed his hand in this water and the axe uh, detached from his body and it's said that he washed off all his sins. So in Hinduism it's believed that you can come wash your sins here. I think the story is kind of silly because it's saying that you can do bad things, kill someone and then just come and wash your sins here. So I don't really like the story that much but this place is actually really beautiful so it's definitely worth visiting. The water was really clear and blue and honestly we didn't even know about this place until we got here and someone told us this place is really nice so we changed our plans a little bit to include this in our trip as well and we're glad we did because we actually liked it here. So my mom just came up with her own version of the story which I like a lot better. So according to her version she thinks that uh, the axe didn't actually get stuck to his hand but he felt so bad about killing his mother uh, that he held on to the axe until he came here and let go of his guilt and along with that his axe and I think that's a much better story. Also I don't think I've ever spoken about this on my channel but uh, I'm not a religious person at all. I find religion really fascinating and I like reading about it. Not just Hinduism, all religions, but I'm not a religious person at all. Finally back. So this is sort of the end of all the sightseeing for our trip. Uh, we're heading to the Brugger now which is five hours from here, spending the evening there and then heading to Velour tomorrow. My 
my dad's back at it again. Those stairs that you see there, that's where Parshuram Kund is. Stopping for lunch here at the Himalayan restaurant. Sounds promising. So we've finally reached the Bruger. This is our room. The room here was quite nice. Uh, the drive to this place was really tiring though. So we're just gonna eat dinner and then go to bed. So it's our last morning in the Bruger and we didn't really have the time to check this place out. But our hotel is actually in the marketplace. So we thought we'll go check out the market. Also there's a Canon store here and I'm gonna go and uh, find out how to get rid of the dust particle in my lens. So let's go. Canon store but there's no one here except for us and a few other customers but check out these cool cameras so old school my granddad actually has this exact same camera I think so sadly they couldn't help me I think I'm just gonna have to use a vacuum cleaner because that's what a lot of YouTube videos suggest also I'm wearing the same clothes because I didn't pack enough clothes for this trip I wanted to see if I can travel light and uh, turns out I can I just realized I didn't introduce you to our driver Mrinal Bhaiya Hi, Hi. Uh, thank you. This is my card. You can see it on YouTube. Let's bye. So we are at the airport. The trip is officially over. It was a great trip. I really enjoyed Assam and Arunachal. But I should also mention that it was a really difficult trip in the sense that we were driving a lot every day. In the beginning, I know I said we were going to cover 1800 kilometers, but we actually ended up covering 2800 kilometers and we were driving for about 5 hours on average every day. So it's pretty crazy. Uh, the roads were kind of bad, so that was also problematic. And also there was no proper network or internet for the most part, so that was uh, kind of a struggle. But despite all that, the trip was quite amazing. Our driver was really nice. I think my favorite part of the trip was the day we spent in Zero uh, with the Apatani tribes. That was really cool. And I also really enjoyed the Jeep Safari in Kaziranga. That was such an amazing experience. And talking about daily vlogging, I quite enjoyed it, but I think I failed at it because I wasn't really editing the video every day. It was mostly because there was no internet, so I didn't really feel motivated to edit my videos every day. But I still did uh, vlog each day and I quite enjoyed that part. But I think I picked the wrong trip to daily vlog because we weren't really doing much uh, each day. I still hope you enjoyed watching all my daily vlogs i quite enjoyed making them uh, if you did give this video a like leave a comment and let me know what you thought of all my videos and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next video bye